Good morning dear students today we are going to learn how to measure weight in grams and kilograms let's start students till now you have learned that we measure heavy things in kilograms and light things in grams 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams to measure weight we use standard weights like 1 kg 500 g 200 g 100 g and 50 g students let's learn how to measure weight with the help of these standard weights students now you know about standard weights let's learn about weighing scale this is a weighing scale it is used to calculate the weight of objects with the help of standard weights i have some apples here i have to measure their weight so students see the side of balance with apples has tilted down it means the weight is more at this side but to know the exact weight of apples both the sides should be balanced so i will place 1 kg weight on the other side of the balance but students notice carefully there is no change in both the sides of the scale now i will take 500 g weight students see on placing 500 g weight the side with weights dropped down it means the weight is more at this side so now i will take 200 g weight in place of 500 g so students notice on using 200 g weight weight on both sides is equal now students we used 1 kg and 200 g weights to measure the weight of apples it means the weight of apples is equal to 1 kg and 200 g so students let's solve sums of exercise 5.6 we will do question number 2 here find the weight in this question some objects are given and we have to find their weight let's solve part a find out the weight of carrots in kilogram and grams now let's measure the weight of carrots with the help of weighing scale and weights students notice the side of the weighing scale with carrots has tilted down it means the weight is more at this side so to know the actual weight of carrots weight on both sides must be equal so i will place 1 kg weight on the other side of the weighing scale but there is no change so i will use 500 g weight with 1 kg weight now both sides are balanced we used 1 kg and 500 g weight it means the weight of carrots is equal to 1 kg and 500 g students let's do written work weight of carrots is 1 kg and 500 g students if we want to know the weight of an object without weighing scale and weights then we can find out the weight by holding the object in hand and it is called estimated weight students i am measuring the estimated weight of this math book and i think its estimated weight is approximately 200 g Let us find out its actual weight with the help of weighing scale and standard weights. See, to know the actual weight of this book, I am using 200 g weight, but there is no change in the weighing scale. The side of the scale with book is still down. So, I will use 100 g weights. On using 100 g weight, the balance tilted to the side where the weight is more. So, I will use 50 g weight in place of 100 g weight to balance both the sides. See, both sides are equal now. It means the weight of math book is 250 g. So students, we have measured the estimated weight of math book by holding in hand and actual weight of book by measuring with weighing scale. So students you have to solve the question number 3 of exercise 5.6 in this you have to take some objects and measure their estimated and actual weight today's pass question find the weight of laddus we have four options here option a 2 kg 100 g option b 1 kg 200 g option c 1 kg 
100 gram option d 2 kilogram and 200 grams students look at the picture at one side of the scale there is a box of laddus and on the other side there are 1 kg and 200 grams weight so it means the weight of laddus is 1 kilogram and 200 grams so option b is the correct answer it's time for homework now. Students, you have to solve question number 2 and 3 of exercise 5.6.